Jataka Tales of the Buddha The Baby Quail Long, long ago, in this very spot, the Bodhisattva was reborn as a quail. Every day his parents fed him with food which they brought in their beaks because he was still confined to the nest and unable to find food on his own. The baby quail did not even have the strength to stand on his feet and walk about, much less to spread his wings and fly. One day, a great jungle fire broke out. As the flames swept through the grass and the forests, birds and animals fled for their lives. The air was filled with the shrieking of adult birds flying away from their nest. The parents of this young bird were as frightened as the others and abandoned their helpless offspring to his fate. Lying there in the nest, the little quail stretched his neck to see what was happening. When he saw the flames coming toward him, he thought to himself, my parents, fearing that, have fled to save themselves, leaving me here completely alone. I am without protector or helper. Had I the power to take to my wings, I too would fly to safety. If I could use my legs, I would run away. What can I do? In this world, he thought further. There exists the power of goodness and the power of truth. There are beings who, having realized all the perfections in the previous lives, have attained enlightenment beneath the Bodhi tree. They have become Buddhas filled with truth, compassion, mercy and patience. There is power in the attributes they have won. Although I am very young and very weak, I can grasp one truth that is the single principle in nature. As I call to mind the Buddhas of the past and the power of their attributes, let me perform an act of truth. The little quail concentrated his mind by recalling the power of the Buddhas long since passed away and declared, with wings that cannot fly and legs that cannot yet walk, forsaken by my parents, here I lie, by this truth and by the fate that is in me, I call on you, O dreadful fire, to turn back, harming neither me nor any of the other birds. At that instant the fire retreated sixteen lengths and went out like a torch, plunged in water, leaving a circle of 32 lengths in diameter around the baby quail, perfectly unscattered. From that time on, this very spot has escaped being touched by fire, and so it will be continued to be throughout this entire era. When his life ended, the quail who had performed this act of truth passed away to fare according to his deeds. The Buddha showed the connection and identified the bird by saying, My present parents were the parents of those days, and I myself, the little quail, who became king of the quails. The End <laughs>